Hello, worship teams and friends. Thank you so much for joining us here on worshipteentraining.com. My name is Brandon Dempsey, and welcome to our Guitar Strength Changing video podcast. Now, this refers back to an article that I had written some time ago entitled Guitar Tech Tips, BD's Nine Easy Step Method to Changing Guitar Strings. Now the reason why we don't want to rip off all these strings at one time, some people like to do that, but this neck here will actually warp depending on the amount of tension that's lost per string. So what I'll show you how to do is take one string off one at a time. As you can see, we're going to start with this low E string, and then simply we go to the other E, we go to the A, we go to the B, we go to the D, we go to the G. Now some guys would actually use maybe a lower powered electric screwdriver. Now for me, I'm used to using this and a lot of guys are, so we're going to go ahead and start here. Now here I'm just going to go ahead and take the string out. And take that off. I want to line up the string right along this ridge line of this bridge pin. So, what I typically like to do is to bend right here at the thumb about probably a half of an inch away from the very ball end of the string. Now what this does is simply uh, just secure just a little bit. It just all it does is really break some of the tension that's going to be placed on the bone. So it's it's not some guys don't think it's a big deal but I, I prefer that's just me. Now, now string all the way through the hole of the tuner. What we want to do is have a good amount of loop on each of these posts. We want to do two loops, three loops, four loops, five, six, and six. Now how do you do that? Well, it's kind of a little bit of a measuring here. As you can see, I have my first finger down and my pinky. And I typically use about, this is probably about four inches. Now four inches, about that four or five inches will give you two loops around the post here. So what I want to do is hold it up here like that. I got it set. And I'm going to loop this end of the string underneath the original string. Pull it to like that. Pull it up a little bit. Now this is how we lock the actual string around the post. We want to lock it. So how we're doing this is now I'm pulling up just to tighten it. And now I pull it to me to give a good lock. As I wind the tuner, I want to keep pulling up on the string and locking it to the post so that way it doesn't slip. With my finger, I'm pressing down on the string to actually tune it flat against the peg. So that way I have an even spool. Now as you can see, the bridge pin is popping up, so you don't want that to happen. You're tuning at the peg head, you want to watch what's happening down at the saddle. So what I tend to do is, as I'm winding and tightening the string, I'm also holding down the bridge pin, so that way it doesn't pop up. Now we're actually going to stretch the string to get all the newness out. We want to stretch the string properly, so that way it doesn't detune when we play. Now what we're going to do is to grab a string, we're going to grab this low E string and I'm just going to put my thumb up here against the fretboard like this. My other fingers, my other fingers here are going to be holding at the back. So we press down with the, press the thumb into it and then lift the fingers up on the string like this, up the fretboard. Do one string and the other, one and the other, one and the other. So we have an even tension on the truss rod. So after you've been working so hard changing your strings, um, go ahead and it's a good idea to polish the fretboard. You want to use something like, I use this Martin Guitar Polish. It can be found anywhere and all it is is a very, very mild, mild base of soapy water. You can even use that too, it doesn't matter. Spray it right on the rag. Okay, and then just wipe it down. Well guys, we thank you for joining us here on the Worship Team Training video podcast and learning how to change your guitar strings. We look forward to seeing you again on the next video podcast.